there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today I'm going to show you how I am sewing up my seam on my moss stitch cowl. That's a two-tone, and I think it might be my new favorite piece. I'm just loving these colors. My husband laughed at me. He thought it looked like a, a 60s couch, which I don't actually disagree with him, but um, I still love it nonetheless. So, and when I'm sewing this seam up, I am kind of, it looks like I'm going through every other stitch. And I'm just going through, I guess, the front stitch, and then I'm kind of pulling it a little taut so it's hidden in the back side of the stitch. I know that's, it, to me, it sounds very confusing just saying it, so I know hearing it, it has got to be confusing. But in this pattern, I did a knit one, purl one, and I ended with a knit one, purl one, so they are the same on the beginning and ending stitch. And this is the inside seam. Um, and just keep following in this pattern until you get to the end. And you want to make sure that you go through the loop versus uh, splitting this stitch. You want to go directly through catch. Yeah, you don't want it to snag or pull at all. You want to get that whole loop. And again, it looks like I'm going through every other stitch, but I'm not. I think you can see it better on that light green side because um, I'm using the dark green, so it's kind of harder to see on that side, but right there you can kind of see the little bump that I kind of pull that taut so that it kind of hides it. And right there, yes, I split that stitch a little bit. You want to try to avoid that sometimes. You miss it though, but I caught it whenever I watch the video. And then you want to um, I don't know, I kind of like to go through it a second time there at that end at the very top so that it doesn't come apart, it stays together nice and then weave it back through and that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching. And that is the inside.